looking for doubloons out here at the Lone Star Street Rod Association. Nice. And the, you sound like a, an Irish zombie. <laughs> uh, we're coming to you live today from Granberry, Texas. Come for your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> it's the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show, and I'm kind of gravelly today. Pardon me. Just ahead, we talk more of the participants and the weekend's happenings here at Hewlett Park in Granbury. Had a chance to drive the new Kia Seltos. I'll give you my thoughts on it, and don't laugh. I like the car. We'll also have the cruise in calendar, and later this hour, uh, we'll have today in auto history. It's all just ahead in this hour of the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Howdy, along with Mike out of this world, Mars. King Conrad DeLong. We need more Jeff Zekin is over here. Yep. And sitting next to him is the fabulous and famous David mm. Ainsley. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us today. We're glad you showed up. We wish you'd have brought your voice with you. I know. I'm sorry about Just that. Forgot it. He was in a hurry to leave. Mm, forgot right. It. So um, I have the pleasure of introducing right now to everybody Ronnie Austin. He's the owner of this fine 1940 Chevy panel truck delivery Deli- panel delivery who sold that i don't know gary blame gary <laughs> gary we're he blaming just wrote, we're blaming gary on everything okay. gary panel where are has you two doors then where's the pen <laughs> you said it, where, F. the panel has two doors two two rear doors also it's about oh, five six inches taller okay the delivery has a single rear door and it's shorter something else i learned today so this has not been chopped no this is a delivery. Delivery. So a Ford Chevy. So would this be considered kind of in the suburban family? No, I think it's, what I understand, these were, it's a delivery, but it's made for the salesman to go sell. Yeah. The panel was actually made for deliveries. So they got, <laughs> got them backwards. Yeah. And we found this up in Wichita Falls, and there's a pretty good story behind it. So. Well, well we, you're going to tell us the tell story, us the I hope. <laughs> About two and a half years ago, I have a sister who lives in Wichita Falls. And was going through motorhome one day, and I looked over, and there's a place called Lone Star Muscle Cars, owned by uh, Ernie McConnell. And beautiful place, all kinds of cars, nice ones. I told my wife, I'm gonna pull in here just for a second. Well, you know, <laughs> three and, hours later. <laughs> uh, and she knit, and knit, I walked knit, in knitted the door. an entire shirt for you while you were inside <laughs> watching. And when she stayed in motorhome air conditioner, she's going. I walked in, went boom, wham, there it was right there. It caught my eye, 100 percent. I went and looked at it. And like my wife said, you know, I got the drool off of it before he showed up. Yeah. So anyway, I just basically fell in love with it. And Ernie come in, and at the time I was retired, and when you retire early on Social Security, there's not much. And he said, there it is, how much? And I, he, I said, I just can't do it right now. Just can't. He said, why don't you put up a small deposit, a couple hundred dollars, and we'll hold it for 30, 40 days and see what you can do. I said, whatever. Anyway, I got called out of retirement to go back to Sweetwater to supervise a job on a big sheetrock plant out there. And I kind of forgot about the deposit. And, you know, five, six weeks went by and was going back up to see my sister again. And I was sitting in the car thinking, well, I need to go by and tell her and just keep that money for his time in trouble. I can't do it right now. And during the meantime, my wife sitting over texting, I thought, to the grandkids. Well, come to find out, it was Ernie. So we pulled in. She kept saying, no, you don't have to go by. I'll take care of it. I said, no, I, I got to go by a person and say, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. So I went in there, and Ernie wasn't there, and the car was gone. I thought, well, she's already told him to forget it, and he sold it. So anyway, I thought, oh, well, whatever. Maybe one of these days. Well, he come walk down the back, and I said, Ernie, I'm here to apologize and all this, keep the deposit and whatever. He goes, well, I was going to put it toward the purchase of the car. And I stood there and meant trying to look at my wife. And <laughs> excuse me. She's surprised at yours. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How I just, you know, oh, tears God. come. I thought, my God, you know. Yeah. He's in the back getting prepped for me to take delivery of it. Wow. And there's, you know, a little that more to it. That cool. was a basic deal. And that's how we ended up with it. What did it look like then? Do what? What did it look like then? 98 to 99% of what it is right now. Oh, okay. I've done oh, wow. minor, minor stuff to it. Very Fantastic. minor. Fantastic. He put the Austin 40 on it for us. And I've had a few little heating issues, which the guy was just here before me. He showed me how to take care of it with a special... Uh, radiator system and shroud that he bought from, uh, I think it's Cooling Concepts, I believe you told me. So I got to do that. Cause with the air conditioner on today, this afternoon, it's going to go to 210, 215, just like that. Well, and, so. and shrouding an air conditioner, people 
don't realize how important that is because it creates the airflow. It, mm -hmm. it pulls the air through correctly, and it's not just the shrouding. It's also damming up the sides right. of it so that the air that you're pulling doesn't bleed out the sides, mm -hmm. and then you don't get enough coming over, uh, coming over the I've radiator. I've got about between the back of the radiator and the front of the bolts on the Condenser. water pump. I've got about that much room. Oh, my gosh. Tight. Yeah. But I think I can make it work. Well, cool. But anyway, years back, I used to run a couple of drag cars for back in the 70s and 80s, uh, 23 altered for a while. It run about 160. Oh, gosh. It was a good car. And got that had to be a scary ride. Well, it, when he let go of the trans brake button, it felt like a Greyhound bus hitching the back. You know, it boom, it's gone. Anyway, after about four or five engines, I said, that's enough of that. <laughs> Bank count went, whoo. Yeah. Anyway, quit that. For years, I didn't do nothing except just work. Then I got in. I built a couple of home-built airplanes for a while and got married and my wife I have now. And it's been like 16 and a half years last year, last month. Wonderful, wonderful lady. I wouldn't have this without her. Anyway, then I bought a couple of Model Ts, had a Model T pickup. Then I went and I found a Model T one-ton truck. I restored the pickup, but the truck I found was 100% original. Didn't do anything to it except get it to run in and drive it. Found it down in a place called Cristobal in a barn. Oh, really? And it was 100%. Wow. It took me about two days to get it running. So your 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 40 um, panel. No, delivery. Delivery. <laughs> delivery. <laughs> um, it's closed off from the back. No, it's open all the way. Okay. Yeah, it's so got, you've got, it's a, got high you back screen buckets down there, there you, or something? Just high back seats. Or, okay. Or okay. Carol seats yeah. are in there. Yeah, you just can't see I just can't again. See. Yeah. I was going to say, that blind. Good, probably yeah. works good for the air conditioning mm -hmm. system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it, it's beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah. it's Everybody says it, the color combination everybody likes because it's different. you got reds, you got blacks, dark grays, and it just pops just, with the green and, and the and white. And the white just really stands out, particularly in you know, a bright, sunshiny day like today. It just really shines. And mm -hmm. what's the powertrain? It's a 350-horse crate motor. It's got a 700-R with a 4 9-inch with a 350 gear. Okay. It does about 17 miles a gallon at 65 miles an hour. That's awesome. That's, I mean, that's 75, it drops big time. Well, it gets, it gets thirsty everything. when you get up yeah. there. <laughs> um, you're not uh, you're not from New York or Minnesota or something, are you? West Texas. I just, I'm just trying to pick up on the accent. I just I didn't know. Oh, yeah, West Texas, you can tell. Yeah. Dry, hot. But uh, No, we found Granberry about six and a half years ago. I had a ticker problem and had to retire early. Huh. Yeah. And I got luck at a 208-114 blood pressure and they did a stint and i've been perfect ever since but we found granberry and just actually fell in love with it hmm. y'all do you live here now we live here about oh, nice. eight miles out so they brought the car show to you do what they brought the car show to you yeah i had no idea what was here until we moved here and yeah i was downtown when well coming in downtown by acton and i was in my pickup and i heard this rattling come up behind me or beside me there I looked over, and there's a guy about 130 years old sitting behind a wheel of a 55 Was his gasser. name Don Armstrong by any chance? <laughs> <Yeah>. Might have been. <laughs> but old-style 60s gasser. Patina paint. I mean, it wasn't paint. It was, it was that way. Yeah. Rusted down, you know, there's signs on it, eight injectors sticking through the hood. And this guy had to be in his hundreds. Had to be. And he's sitting there like this with a little bit of hat on. I looked over and went like that, and he boop a little bit. But, <laughs> a little bit. It's in all of us. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I've never seen the car again, so I'm, I'm sure it's had a pecan plantation out here somewhere. There's a lot of cars here. I just couldn't believe it when we got out and started roaming around. But I drive this in almost every day. Do you really? It's not ever been on a trailer since I've had it. I've been to Wichita Falls three or four times. I've been out to Sweetwater. I've been uh Evant. Of course, Cleveland, going to Lamp Pass this next weekend. Do you own a trailer? No. He drives it. I drive it. Mm -hmm. well, I just want to check. Man. I don't believe in – if you're going to trailer one, to me, they need to be over here. The ones you drive every day need to be over right. here. On the road, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like it could be trailered. It's it's spotless. It's beautiful. Well, it's got some rock chips in the front. Right. Try so to touch it. Can't avoid that. And that the the wheel package really fits the car well. Yeah. They're you hard know. to polish. I got there's water spots on them I can't get rid of. They're fixed to get changed. So what are you gonna, what are you gonna how do? How big are those? The they're front like, ones are about ten inches wide and the back ones I think are about thirteen. Yeah, but aren't they like eighteens? I mean, uh, eighteens in I the front, nineteens in the back. Eighteens and nineteens I think, something like that. I have to go look. I can't remember. What are you many. gonna what are you gonna put on it? What are you gonna change it to? Uh just different rims. Something maybe 
a little more shiny to them. Those I, I polish on those all the time. That's the best I can do. It just they you won't come out. Less, less maintenance. Yeah. yeah. We know we know where there's a chrome shop in Houston. We well, do. he don't do wheels though. No, he doesn't I forgot. Do wheels. I yeah. did find out on American Racing Wheels, the rim part of it is a different material than the spokes. So is they, it really? They they say you got to use two different polishes. I didn't know that. I and they probably know. sell both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Because it looks like it's all one piece. They're not. Don't be daring. You take them off and look at them, you can see the difference. And I had no idea until I talked to them. Huh. So. Again, when you polish them, did new. you polish them with a machine, a drill I've done, or something? I've done everything. everything. Yeah. I even use chemical guys, uh, yeah. thought remover. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. They're pretty old. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. How about the tires? Tires old, too? Not really. They're probably about four years old. Oh, okay, so you got some. They're good shape, yeah. 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 This car here. That was at the hotel last yes, night. Yes, it was. That, that, that's beautiful. A, that really, do you know this guy? Mm-hmm. Do you? There's some beautiful cars here. They're you really need to are. walk off over here and look at this 55 210. Not the, the blue one here is beautiful too, but there's one over there that's black with metallic red. I saw the black one. Oh, my God. That thing is it's unreal. Breathing. The there, 57 some... is the one that we saw that was by us. Yep. Yeah. That one there, is that a 64? That, uh, that Chevelle? Yeah, I think so. Chevelle, yeah, I think it is. That, that, that just, uh, just struck but, me. But such a wide variety of cars here mm-hmm. from uh, from the, the true street rod stuff to the, the you know, the mid-60s, yeah. early 70s muscle stuff that's here as well. And then the blend of the two of them. Um, it's, it's just fun to come to an event like this and see cars that people are, their life is in that car. Mm-hmm. You know, you talk about some of the people who've built the cars themselves. Talk about your life in this because your wife secretly bought the car for you. What a killer story that is. It was is. unreal. I couldn't. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. I mean, well, for, for weeks after, yeah, I just could, you, I'd walk well, outside and go. Do you have any kids? I got a daughter, and she's got a son. We've been married, like I said, 16 and a half years. Yeah. And uh, her son's got five. My daughter's got four. And we got so many grandkids. Uh, so there's, you know, a <laughs> bunch of them. Yeah. Do you, any of them old enough to uh, like cars like that? Oh, yeah. 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 And they like Grandpa's car? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they have a said, Grandpa, can I have the car when you're done with it? One of them has. Yeah. My well, first one to <laughs> ask wins. <laughs> Got to be the favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, uh, How old is he? 24. Oh, okay. A weird deal happened about four or five years ago. I'm going to get off the story a little bit, but. I'm sure y'all go with some drag race at meets and everything. We do. In 69, my dad was with Dow Chemical. We got transferred from Sweetwater to Artesia, New Mexico. You know, ugh. And I worked the <laughs> wrecking yard after school there pulling parts. Well, another kid got on with me pulling parts. Anyway, one year I moved back to Sweetwater, and we just kind of, you know, never heard of each other again. Went to Ennis about, I guess, four or five years ago. And my wife had never been to a drag meet. So what I do, I put her behind John Forrest's funny car. Listen, it sounds nice. Of course, I backed way off. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've all done it. So, yeah. so that was your payment for her I laughed and, it. laughed and laughed yeah. and laughed over it. And we walked down there, and there's these two big black trucks. And I looked up, and the picture on them was, I thought, that can't be him. I walked around the corner, he's standing right there. And I said, Johnny, that's you? He goes, Ronnie, that's you? I said, yeah. We got talking. Anyway, his dad was an oil pumper back then. Back then, they made wages. You know, he got sick. His Him and his sister took over his dad's business. Well, they built it up a little bit. The company's called Marbach Corporation. Well, he sold out for $111 million. Oh, oh, my gosh. He run, the at the time, he's retired now, quit racing. But his two sons run Pro Stock, and you probably recognize these names. Jonathan Gray and Shane Gray oh, and yeah. Tanner oh, yeah. Gray. Yeah. This guy, Johnny Gray. Hmm. Oh, man. And we used to pull parts together. How? What a great story and that anyway, is. Anyway, he sold out the rest of it and made $1.65 billion, the big B. They give money away, give money away. And his sister, Terry Chandler, make a wish, yeah. it's a hero yeah. car. Yep. Run them out of their pocket. Yep. Great wow. people. Yep. Great people. But to meet somebody like that you grew up kind of one year with, and just pulling, pulling and parts reconnect. in the salvage yard mm-hmm. and reconnect. Isn't that cool. funny how that all works but out? They, they donate to children's hospitals left and right. Yeah. You know, Terry Ch- Chandler, she passed away about a year and a half ago with a yep. brain tumor. Yep. And her husband run the cars up to last year, and he said, okay. He has a Learjet business. He said, I'm not going to do it anymore. So, of course, those two drivers now, I think I think they're driving part-time for other people. But then his two boys now run in ProMod. His grandson's in NASCAR. And Johnny's doing nothing except enjoying life. <laughs> <laughs> and watching be. the grandkids race. Mm-hmm. Exactly. There you go. 
So you're going to change the name on it for the grandson that's on that vehicle? Can I'm you? not. He can. Oh, okay. <laughs> he can. <laughs> that's a final little come off. So Anyway, uh, Ernie come up with that idea. I wanted, you know, beer wagon, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He said, no, I'll surprise you. We went to pick it up and had that on it. Well, you know, the first thing that I thought of was New Bombs Pie Wagon. Hmm. Are, you familiar with, are you familiar with New Bombs Pie Wagon? I think I've heard of it. Uh, Hollywood Nights. I'm oh, sure yeah, that yeah. you've probably seen that. Don't movie. get him started. Yeah. <laughs> He'll start doing the, yeah. the voices. Lawrence. Oh, dear. Lawrence of go. Arabia. Here we go. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Save your voice. Mm. Yeah. Well, Ronnie, hey, just, we really appreciate you well, coming up you and telling us me. a story about your car. What a great story. Your wife secretly bought you that car. Mm-hmm. Now that's a, yeah. that's a, has she got any sisters? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Man, I, I love well, her more than in the world. Oh, I mean, she do. I always wish I could get her a little more involved. She really could care less about that. That's what's really surprised me. But she cares that you care. Yeah, I'm That's outside every day messing it. with it. Cause we live in a small gated community out here. It's an RV community. When we sold our property and land out in Sweetwater, and way downsized because of this problem, uh, so I don't want no more acreage. I don't want no tractors. I don't want nothing. No more maintenance. No maintenance, no nothing. Good for you. And we just love it here. I mean, I'm downtown all the time. Every weekend, I'm down there in this thing. I'll go to the park and drink a beer or something. Everybody look at it. You know? And it's, it's a driver. There's a lot of stuff here way nicer, but we enjoy it and we drive it. Do you have, like, Friday and Saturday night cruise-ins around here? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of us just show up, like the blue and white Chevrolet. He's down there quite often. There's yeah. several of them. You never know who's going to come by. Yeah. There's a bunch of cars here. Yeah. Like, kind of here is probably 50 of them in there if they ever bring them out. Oh, wow. How Most fun. of them just sit in the garage, you know. Well, Ronnie Austin, thanks so much for well, coming Well, thank you all by. so we, much for having yeah, me. Yeah, we really appreciate it. And you'll be able to find this on all the social media channels, you'll be able to see it tomorrow. And actually, you can see it now, but you can see it tomorrow on YouTube. Okay. And I don't, you don't know anything about that. Neither do I. But somebody, know. somebody tells me that you can get on YouTube and find it. Kids so. will do it for us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Ronnie, well, again, thanks. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Beautiful and car. Debbie, if you're watching this at home, I love you. Bye. Oh, <laughs> good Thank shout you. out. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Time now for a little car review, if I can gargle it out is it okay if i do that now thank you are you, you better ready? better hurry because it sounds like your voice is going fast no well no it hey listen it's better than it was yesterday if you remember at dinner last night i could barely talk that's true that was a good thing yeah <laughs> it's always a good thing isn't it <laughs> time now for this hour's car review had a chance to drive the 2022 kia seltos and no, it's not short for cellulitis or anything like that. It is the <laughs> Kia Seltos. And you may not have heard about it because it was all new last year. It's available in several trim levels, including the LX. It moves up the chain to S, then EX, and then the Nightfall Edition and the SX. I had the Nightfall Edition. It's a small SUV, seats five passengers. Like I said, it was all new last year. I really like this car. I know, don't ask me why. I mean, there are multiple reasons. Uh, One of them is the price. I think that uh, Kia, for the most part, builds a very nice car. Uh, All sorts of different models, but this one just struck a nerve with me. It's my kind of car. Attractive body style with a rounded nose and a Kia grille that you're sure, uh, surely have seen before. Brushed metal trim and accents on the lower valance for my upscale version. Extra wide opening in the rear hatch so you could get another car back there. Well, maybe not. At least a go-kart, that's for sure. Uh, Trim-specific attractive wheels. What I liked, the overall design gets high marks in my book. You saw it. Oh, yeah. Uh, What could use improvement? Nothing. Just keep updating the incoming models. Yep. That would be my advice. It's a very stylish looking car. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's not over the top. It's none of that, but it's attractive. It is today's kind of stuff. Interior highlights attractive interior design with easy to use, well placed controls. Loved, loved, loved the cloth seats. Oh, Make gosh. fun of me if you will. I don't care. I like them, and it had a great design pattern in them. Uh, it's going to last a lifetime, and they are cool, like me. Okay. So, do they do they sound kind of gravelly? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, Are they cool gravelly? It's my smoky bedroom voice today. Oh gosh. Oh lord. 
Subtle styling cues throughout the cabin adds to the likability of this. Simple, easy to understand instrument cluster and infotainment system. Uh, cargo area surprisingly large based on its smallish Small size. exterior design. What I liked about the simplicity of the interior. What could use improvement? Uh, the passive phone charger uh, should be standard. It is not. This one didn't have it, but they have it available. 1.6 liter turbo 4 is the optional engine. Get it because it has 175 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque through a 7-speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Doesn't sound like a lot of horsepower, but it works for this particular vehicle. And here is the effect of that. 25 miles per gallon in the city, 30 on the highway for a combined to 27. I got 30.5 miles per gallon over 402.6 miles. What I liked about it, the peppiness of the engine. What could use improvement? A little bit of turbo lag if you get too aggressive with it. I am a two-foot driver. Left foot is brake, right foot is accelerator. And I can make those happen really fast, but the engine doesn't understand that. It's meant for somebody to use their right foot on the brake and their right foot on the yeah, accelerator. You're, you're kind of outrunning the computer. It, it, it gives it enough time to know what you're doing, and I'm too, I'm quick, quicker than that still today, believe it or not. In some things, I am still quicker. Braggart. Okay. Shut up. Don't even go there. Cause <laughs> you looked at me, and I knew what you were about to say. Quick is not always good. It's not. He said it. I didn't. It's not. Just let you know. But he, you know the people at Kia are going to hear this review. Oh, boy. But it keeps it in boost. It keeps, yeah. Well, it does if you if, if you keep it at boost. Yep. But I don't. You know, this is off of a stoplight or something. And uh, the start-stop feature doesn't work that way. So <clears throat> it's my fault, not the cars. Ride and handling. Perfectly matched for this small kid hauler and grocery getter. And that's what it is. And it gets good gas mileage. Perfect for a early starting family. It's a first vehicle. This is it. I got it. So priced right as well. <clears throat> the base trim price is twenty six six ninety. Wow. The base uh, the te price is tested is twenty eight four thirty five, but if you want to get into the base model, starts at twenty two five ninety. Oh wow! Boom. So there your you Nightfall go. base <clears throat> price was a twenty eight thousand dollar car. Uh, it starts at twenty six six ninety. Wow. Yeah, it that's second to the highest level that they got. Uh, competitors, Honda HRV for 21870 the Hyundai Kona for 213 and the Mazda CX-30 for 225 So it, it competes with and they're And they're all stylish little <laughs> they are. little uh, sport hatches. This is, this is where the crux of all of the buying, the new car buying, I think will be in the next few years. And I think that they're doing themselves a service by pricing them like this. Entry-level models still in the 20s. Granted, it's not the average price of cars. The average price of cars around 40. 40 44, yeah. This is Half higher that. in content than most starting price cars. You get a lot for the money. And it does not have crank windows. Thank you for asking. <laughs> but but it, like you say, that <clears throat> it sounds like what you would get Young couple, just getting married, out of school, starting jobs, maybe starting the family. Yep. This is this sounds is like it. that kind of vehicle. It, it, this is the this is the car. I, you know, I, it's rare that I get really excited about a car, and you're going. He gets excited about this. Yeah, I do because it's not about me. It's people that buy this particular kind of car. That's exciting. And I don't know what the availability is at the dealership. Call Kia and ask them. But uh, the Kia Seltos. So what, what kind of fuel economy did you get with it? You weren't listening. Oh. Mm -hmm. I missed it, too. I got 30.5 over 402 miles. That's pretty awesome. It is. See? Um, now I am listening. I, I've got your attention, didn't I? Which is a rare thing. <laughs> yeah, usually you guys usually slap, a slap in the back of the head to get my <laughs> That's attention. Right. Well, you and me both. We're both Sagittarians, remember? Mm. All too well. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Conrad, Don, pay attention. <laughs> it's one of those kind of things. Yes, it was. Uh, time now for the cruise-in calendar. And this really is kind of a cruise-in. But oh, there right. is a limit as far as age is concerned. I think right. uh, it's 72, it's 1972 and under. Right. 
And and they've got, you know, they got a good collection of uh, the early 70s, late 60s muscle cars here. But this is really more about street riders. And, uh, and even even the regular looking cars that are that are street riders. Is that a Torino over there? It is. Yeah, it looks to be. Yeah. Looks it's a nice car. 69. Uh, I would go 69. Yes, or 70, yeah. So, you know, next weekend we'll be at Tailpipes and Tacos. At Lu- uh, Please don't forget that. Have we Tortillas. put that up every day this week Every day, on, on multiple Facebook? times, different well, places. Not yes. today. We, I will get it today. Yeah. Um, Tailpipes and Tacos. Uh, That's a at, great cruise in. Yep. And they're now giving away prizes. You know, you can win awards. There's three award levels you can get. And don't forget the gift cards. And and gift cards and stuff. So stop in next weekend at Alupi Tortillas out there at Kingsland. So everyone here is invited, right? Everybody here is invited. And then Street Outlaws No Prep in Baytown is going to be June 24th. July 9th, Wheels and Warriors at the Crafty Crab in Pearland, Texas. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. that's very close to the Krusty Crab. Yeah, no. Krusty this Crab. one, it's the Crafty Crab. Yeah. And then Saturday, July Cousin. 9th as well, is Jeep Night at Three Acres down in Santa Fe. So bring your Jeep Jeeps out. At and where Three Acres? It's a, it's a shopping center in Santa Fe. Oh, okay. And then you're going to the Corvette Invasion at the Bass Drop Convention Center July 15th. Which is about halfway here, uh, you know. So uh, in a different direction, but yes, kind of a different direction. Yeah. So uh, and that that should be fun. You'll be reporting from Corvette Invasion. Yeah, if I can get my phone to work and if I can remember to call in. We're hoping. Well, we may we may just run a repeat show that day. Yeah, then, we we talked about that. There's a okay. couple of reasons, but anyway. And that's it. That kind of gets us through uh, July. Uh, there's always more stuff coming. We try and keep it on. Uh, <laughs> Our Facebook page, so you can go to In Wheel Time, uh, Facebook.com slash In Wheel Time and see more information. And you don't want to get too far out. You want to yeah. get it, you know, within a few weeks. Yeah. Build the excitement. Yeah. Hey, the In Wheel Time Car Show streams on iHeartRadio uh, through the iHeartRadio app and Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts are available from your favorite podcast provider. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show continues right after this quick break. Father's Day weekend, Saturday, June 18th, 2022. It's the next Tailpipes and Tacos cruise in, and you're invited. Tailpipes and Tacos Father's Day edition will be at the same Loopy Tortilla in Katy, 8 to 11 a.m. on Saturday, June 18th. It's the only place cruisers compete for trophies and other prizes. Enter your vehicle for best hot rod, best classic, and best modern classic. Tailpipes and Tacos is Houston's coolest cruise in and is your opportunity to see the best hot rods, show cars, classics, and resto mods, and get Loopy Tortilla breakfast tacos and adult beverages. There's no entry fee, and cars will automatically compete for custom Loopy trophies and other prizes. It all happens at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard, just south of I-10. Kick off summer with Tailpipes and Tacos Father's Day Edition, Saturday, June 18th. The In Real Time Car Talk Show will be there, too. Celebrate Father's Day, the start of summer, and the return of Tailpipes and Tacos. Saturday morning, June 18th, 8 to 11. We'll see you then, weather permitting. Want to take a minute to tell you about Gulf Coast Auto Shield, a Houston detail company like no other. Gulf Coast Auto Shield offers paint correction services that will give your car, truck, or SUV a like-new shine. Afterwards, you'll want to protect it with a professionally installed nano-ceramic coating or protection film. Worried about your very expensive windshield getting damaged, broken, or cracked? Let Gulf Coast Auto Shield install ExoShield, a windshield protection film. Give John Gray a call today or check out their website, gcautoshield.com. Hey, whether you own a new, ultra-expensive, exotic, or a five-year-old Suburban, Gulf Coast Auto Shield will help keep your investment looking like the day it rolled off the assembly line. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is conveniently located on the South Sam Houston Parkway, just south of I-69, the Southwest Freeway. Meet the staff and check out all of their services online right now at gcautoshield.com. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show is now part of the iHeart family. Now you'll have access to 24-7 Car Talk anytime you need a fix. Just download the iHeart Radio app and ask for In Wheel Time Car Talk, and there we are. Be sure to save us in your iHeart library for instant access. No matter where you are, you have the best car talk show right on your PC, laptop, or mobile device and never have to worry about finding us again. Of course, you can always get access to our video and audio streams via InWheelTime.com and your favorite podcast channel, and all of this is free to you. From the iHeartRadio app, you'll not only hear our Saturday 
Saturday morning live show, but the best shows of the past, updated weekly. Never miss a minute of up-to-date new car reviews, pre-owned reviews, Conrad's Car Clinic, informative interviews, automotive news, and the most fun car talk show on the planet. Just download the iHeartRadio app, search for In Real Time Car Talk, save it to your library, and with a tap of the icon, you'll be in touch with your favorite car talk team. In Real Time Car Talk, streaming now on iHeart.com slash In Real Time Car Talk. <laughs> 